The new intellectuals then that you've talked about should assume the responsibility of formulating what we might call the solutions for the crisis of civilization. This brings to mind immediately then the question, of if someone wants to be a new intellectual, how does he begin? Where do the new, new intellectuals start and how do they work? Well, they would need, above all, an integrated, consistent, comprehensive philosophy of life. Now, uh, to accept or define or even agree with a new philosophy is a very long process which requires very careful thinking because an intellectual will not accept it on faith nor on arbitrary say so. To acquire a new philosophy is a long process and if any man takes this issue seriously and wants to become a new intellectual, he would have to begin by accepting two premises which I call the basic minimum of mm. civilization. They are not axioms, but a man would have to prove them to himself, he would have to convince himself, then his mind would be free to consider the uh, rest or the other questions of philosophy. But the first two, which a man would have to define to himself before he can proceed, uh, is the relationship of reason to emotions and the evil of force among men. The first premise, the relationship of reason to emotion, means that a man, if he wants to be an intellectual, has to learn how to differentiate his thinking, his re reasoned judgment from his emotions, wishes, uh, hopes, fears, or whims. He must learn that feelings, emotions, are not tools of cognition, that emotions are the product of his premises. They are not a guide to reality, they are not a form of knowledge and perception. Therefore, the first thing that a man who wants to be an intellectual would have to accept is a full understanding of the fact that man must be guided by reason and that it is only on the basis of reason that he can approach other men and discuss, cooperate, or act with them, or deal with them. Uh, on the basis of emotion, he would have to resort to blind force because emotions are irrational uh, or unprovable. If two men act on the basis of their emotions, they have no means of communication. When emotions are put in their proper place, which means as the consequence of reason, not as the leader of reason, then men have a common vocabulary, they have a common means of understanding and a common frame of reference and arbiter, which is reality. What about force and the use of force? Now, uh, that is a, a basic social, moral principle which an intellectual should accept. That no man has the right to initiate physical force to compel another man. No individual man has that right. You have been listening to a discussion of the intellectual crisis in modern American society. Special guest on today's program has been Miss Ayn Rand, noted American novelist philosopher whose analysis of the current plight of the responsible American intellectual holds this hope for the future. Those who will accept the basic minimum of civilization will have made the first step toward the building of a new culture in the wide open spaces of today's intellectual vacuum. There is an ancient slogan that applies to our present position. The king is dead, long live the king. We can say with the same dedication to the future, the intellectuals are dead, long live the intellectuals, and then proceed to fulfill the responsibility which that honorable title had once implied.